All right, so we, we won't go into that because that this is not the intention of, of this interview in the sure. first place uh, because uh, a lot happened after that and uh, so, but uh, let's not get, get into that. Uh, what I'm trying to uh, just get it onto right now is that, uh, see, there are, there are many, many examples. There are many examples. Like say, for example, uh, Ekta Kapoor has said recently that she was asked by Malvika Sangvi in a show and um, about these campaigns and she said that uh, many a times it is the women who tend to proposition uh, men as well. I know many directors, male director friends of mine and how actresses, they, they tend to just send them messages and, and they tend to proposition them as well. So there is a, there is a other side to this as well that it's not that the men are, are like those that, that villain all the time as well. So there is an other side to as well. There are several examples where, where these, um, these police complaints happen uh, say in, in, in Mumbai for that matter which are primarily, uh, which, are, which are false and many a times blackmailing tends right. to happen. So there is a, a other side to this entire debate as well. There definitely must be. I mean it's, it's uh, uh, without doubt that if there are uh, laws in place that those laws will be flouted by some people. Mm. Um, what is unfortunate is because the fact is that um, that would be still minor in terms of a percentage mm. of what are, what are true cases. Right. And every single time I feel that if uh, a woman or a girl files a false complaint mm. against someone, uh, I feel that you're really, really damaging the cause of what it is that exactly. women who are serious victims mm. or have seriously suffered mm. are trying to do. Because you're taking credibility away from, from them, you're taking credibility away from that movement of people speaking up and speaking the truth. Mm. So this is a responsibility that of course women need to take onto themselves. Mm. And every time that there is something that happens that can be proved to be a falsehood. You know, to, so then to, to, for them to say that, I mean, that to kind of speak out against the woman maybe who's done it. Mm. You know, to say that, that women also need to understand that you cannot um, make victims of men when they haven't done anything to you because that does not set a good example for anyone. Right. You are going to alienate men further, Correct. you know, and, and the fact is you may, some women may think that we don't need men at all huh. uh, in this fight, but there are many women who also believe that it's important that men be involved in this fight. Right. I genuinely believe that men need to be involved in this, in this struggle. Definitely. And um, many, many men correct. do. I so, I mean, the fact is that you, you're going to further alienate people if you victimize them. As men have done over the years by victimizing women, we've alienated women by, being, by doing that. Yeah, because th there's so many of them within, within the industry for that matter. Like uh, Shah Rukh Khan came to your uh, one of your concerts that you had for, for Marth and I think he's, That's right. he's, like, he's, he's someone who has tremendous, tremendous respect for, for women and that is something that anyone and everyone says and he, he, he does it like totally from the heart and there are many examples. Sure. No, there are many of course. Which, 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 which tend to do it. 